front of poor Ivy. <laughs> Rivers Day is a great time for us to be able to reconnect with and celebrate our local rivers. I'm here on the Tillingbourne stream which runs through the Surrey Hills as part of the Way catchment. And you can see behind me we've got this lovely stretch of river, it looks absolutely fantastic. But as you may have read in the news, not all is well underneath the, underneath the surface of the water. Water quality issues from sewage treatment works, misconnections from domestic sewage and also agricultural diffuse pollution have led to high nutrient loads in our rivers. This has really started to impact on our invertebrate and fish populations and the river iron ecosystems are really struggling as a result. So I'm here with a group of volunteers today and we're working to re-naturalise the Tillingbourne to turn what is a quite a straight over wide stretch into more of a winding, meandering, narrower stretch which is able to allow vegetation to grow in the margins but also scour some of the silt and the sediment off the bed as well. The volunteers have been busy this morning creating a berm. This allows vegetation to build up behind it, but also increases water flows alongside it. We also put these double deflectors in as well, and they are pushing the water off to the opposite back, so kickstarting the natural processes of re-meandering. We've now noticed that kingfishers have returned, and we wanted to give them somewhere to use as a nesting hole. There was a nice earthen cliff on the, uh, on the right-hand bank, so we've got an artificial kingfisher nesting burrow. We're actually digging that in today, and that'll, that's high enough on the bank to protect them from mink. It's got a nice perch next to it, so they'll be able to hopefully next year begin using that. Previously, this stretch was really overshaded by overhanging vegetation, but since we cleared it three years ago, you can see the profusion of plants that has actually grown back. We've got some water forget-me-not here growing in the margins, and here some watercress as well. Behind me just upstream you can see the bulrushes growing, willow beginning to take and this is all helping to knit those banks together, keep pushing the water out and we can see lovely higher velocity flows coming through here so it doesn't take much you can really kick start those natural processes to you know really boost habitats within the river. Now you will have noticed this year during the dry spell that many of our rivers and streams have begun to dry up. This of course is a real disaster for the life, the fish, the invertebrates that live in those rivers. We're already seeing in our headwaters some of the fish populations beginning to get into trouble and they really are on the front line in terms of climate change. We need to re-wet our river catchments so they're not only helping to protect us from flooding but they're also able to drip feed our rivers during these drier periods and keep them flowing. The Wildlife Trusts are campaigning at the national level to help protect our rivers and at Surrey Wildlife Trust we're working with stakeholders such as farmers and landowners plus water companies and the Environment Agency to actually start thinking about how we can manage our land better to protect our rivers. And it goes for everyone really, it doesn't matter where you live, your water use always has an effect on the river or the groundwater that feeds rivers during those dry periods. If you can use less water, just think about it, shorter showers, turning off the tap when you're brushing your teeth, and even using water butts in the garden or using bog gardens to water the plants, etc. This all helps. If we all did this, we can all make a difference to our rivers here in Surrey.